What it is, y'all? It's your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back today with more Damashi. Now, uh, we got a little news this morning, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to it until now, but we really need to talk about it because we have another banner, as expected, incoming. The way this generally works, and it looks like this year is going to be no different, is that we would get uh, a main pair of banners that's time-limited, and then one banner in between that is not. Now, normally, the banner that's not time-limited, I tell you guys to just don't worry about relax it's not a huge deal but i think in this situation with us eoling the game or at least you should be if you're uh going by anything i've been telling you guys it's probably not a bad time to go all in on these units but let's talk about what these units are and uh what they do so first of all we've got this new festive uh harahime uh these go uh with some of the other festive units we'll talk about that here in a moment but hp is 4606 it's actually really 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 good uh she is going to be a support because she knows she has physical attack and magic attack. Uh, magic attack is really high at 2056. It's a really good magic attack. Endurance 595 ain't great, but it's definitely not bad. Uh, 1019 for dex and 1263 for agility. She's pretty fast. Not the speediest thing ever, but pretty quick nevertheless. Now, skill 1 is a 107 MP cost. Allies fast strength magic dex, physical resist, and magic resist all plus 40%. For five total turns, forty percent HP regen for another five, for five turns as well, and self heal rate sixty percent for one turn. Three additional actions, foes plural. High dark physic, or I'm sorry, high dark magic attack with ultra penetration rate, magic resist down forty percent for three turns, and allies forty percent HP heal. Like I said, I expect her to be game breaking, and she's really really solid. It's a, it's kind of a shock, honestly, that she's as good as she is, not being time limited. Uh, so there's a lot going on there. A lot going on. Oh, we didn't even touch it, did we? Uh, high dark physical, the ultra penetration rate, magic resist down 40% for three turns. Allies, I didn't even finish it. Allies, 40% HP heal on top of all that. And fire, water, uh, thunder, earth, wind, light, dark, attack damage plus 50%. All basic stats plus 50%. For three turn or elemental stats plus 50 percent for three turns so she does a ton it's a really 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 solid unit skill two is a 77 mp cost foes plural slow super dark magic attack with ultra Sh shocking she's dark with all that color she's got around her but i do see the dark tones slow super dark magic attack with ultra uncounter rate temporary magic boost which is interesting to see on a regular skill and shortened status buffs by two turns Foes, plural, shortened status buffs by two turns, and, uh, oh, okay. So, allies, shortened status debuffs by two turns, foes, shortened status buffs by two turns, and allies, 10% MP heal. Essentially, if you were around for the original Light Harahime, the second Harahime that ever dropped in the game, this is really just a modern iteration of that unit, is what I'm reading here. Uh, skill 3 is a 49 MP cost, foes, singular, Slow dark magic attack with ultra penetration rate, skill damage 60% per foe magic resistance debuff, and allies cure status ailments. That's really nice, actually. SA is going to be a foe's plural, ultra dark magic attack with ultra penetration rate, temporary gray magic boost, and dark resist down 60% for three turns, self magic plus 100% for three turns, four additional actions, foe's plural, high dark magic, ta uh, magic attack, with ultra uh, penetration rate, magic resist down 60% for three turns, and allies 60% HP heal, and fire, water, thunder, earth, wind, light, and dark uh, damage 80% for three turns. Very good unit. Solid unit and buffs everyone across the board. So, oh, just a fantastic supporter to have hanging around your team. Then, of course, we have the obligatory assist in Lily, Festive Palum Lily. Uh, she's got 1342 HP, um, 652 agility, which is really good. None of her other stats are really all that great, but, uh, foes, plural, endurance, agility, and dex down 20% with four additional effects. When attacked, allies 40% HP heal and one ailment nullification. This effect can happen once per turn. So in essence, look at that as like four turns. That is really Really awesome. Both these units you want to max. Both these units are absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, these are all the festive units we've gotten. We've got that, uh, of course, the festive uh, bell and festive Harahime. We got the festive lily, festive eyes. 
We got the Fest of Seer and the Fest of Ryu, and now we've got Haruhime and Lily to basically close out the whole set. Very nice. Awesome compliment all these units, and uh, just fun to have around. In fact, that Bell and that Eyes, or Bell and that uh, Hestia, the original units, I still use from time to time. I like them. New Familia Rush, as we kind of would expect. Enemy number one. Uh, spirit Killer's effective. Fire physical attacks are effective. Uh, enemy skills, foes, decrease strength and magic. Ooh. Okay. And allies decrease wind damage, physical resist, and magic resist. Uh, as you'd expect down here, physical resist is down 60%. Magic resist is up 60. Uh, fire is down 50. Earth is up 20, as is thunder and light. Uh, wind, water, and dark are all neutral. So you really want to use your fire units and physical if at all possible. And if you've got spirit killers, i.e. some of the new units, or I say actually one of the new units, uh, you are going to be in great great shape here fire physical attacks are effective green flesh will use strength magic debuffs alongside such stuff those crawling through the dungeon uh alongside wind attack damage magic resist and physical resistance buffs this will have a huge impact on your damage potential so be ready to remove them or lower the amount of turns they stay active cursed fangs bet is your best bet for this fight he can remove debuffs lower how many uh turns enemy buffs are active and use fire physical attacks with spirit killer yeah bet is going to be the mvp of this stage stage two uh filthy spirits arms spirit killers once again uh, effective dark magic attacks are effective allies increase resistance to all elements Ooh. so physical resistance is up 40 magic resistance is down 30 fire is up 40 and dark is down 50 all other elements are neutral Dark magic attacks are effective. Uh, filthy spirits arm will increase their allies' resistance to all elements. So adding a unit that can remove elemental resistance buffs to your party should have a big impact on the overall damage. If you make a dark party to target the enemy's weakness, uh, Revenge Princess Eyes will make a good dark attacker, obviously, with her ability to remove dark resistance buffs. Festa Fox Heart Hime is another great choice, the one we just talked about here because of her dark magic attack and spirit killer ability. So if you've got these units maxed, you're going to be in great shape for stage two. Stage three, you could already pretty much guess what it's going to be. Water magic attacks are effective. Um, spirit killer is also effective. Self increase magic, inflict slow, self remove debuffs, and foes lower magic resistance. Physical resist up 40, magic resist down 40. Wind is up 20, dark is up 50, water is down 80. Water magic is going to be your number one uh, source here. Fire, earth, thunder, and light are all neutral. Water magic attacks are effective. Nine uh, rec recitations, Reveria. Water magic attacks make her a good attacker for this fight. Her essay will increase your party's magic by 120%. I got to sneeze on the deck here and it's driving me nuts. So you want to try to use it as it becomes available. Spirit, <laughs> it's driving me crazy here. Spirit Altar will remove uh, debuffs from itself, so make sure you keep an eye on its status as you fight. New Memoria available. And I actually was looking at this, I can't quite figure out what that is. Is that water? I can't tell, but turn one, turn five. It's really hard to tell what that is elementally. It, it's not apparent to me unless it's physical and magic hard to tell anyway new memorial will come available we'll talk about it when it drops that will be available here in just a couple of days so starting tomorrow the sixth anniversary gotcha of course celestial festival gotcha jp sixth anniversary bundle record buster uh for june uh season three seventh zone and iris combo with another end for sale for july of course with the new memoria and then 7-6, uh, Ultimate Wargame, 7th Zone, and Telskira Abyss. So, Family Rush will be on the 7th of July, so you have some time to prepare. And then it basically, at the cusp of that, expect the new banners to drop. So you have some forewarning. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Like, comment, share. How are you guys enjoying the, the anniversary this so far? I've really been feeling this. I think they've really gone all out uh for this uh what i presume to be the final anniversary we actually don't know 
there is the possibility they could come back. But the way Amori was talking in that interview we talked about yesterday doesn't seem like it seems like they kind of see it as the end of the road. But who knows where things are going to go. Uh, I'll catch you guys for more Damachi coming up here really soon.